Maybe this time. I've got to find them. I haven't much time. Mankind's greatest discovery, or mankind's greatest farce. A supplemental man claims to discover the secret of time travel when a scientific community is baffled. It's been so long. Maybe I should try the clock in the lobby again. For a 32-year-old woman and a 4-year-old child, we've gone missing this week in the surroundings of Sacramento later. My fault. It was all my fault. This won't work without a pendulum. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Got to go back to that lobby. Find that old clock. The date is January 6, 1958. Caught a shot in the field with the spring of 1956. American physicist, new invention took the world by storm today. Experts say the world shall never be the same. The date is January 6th. <laughs> it's frozen solid? There's got to be a way to get that out.
No, is... Is that... Is that you? Pendulum? Are any of my clocks missing pieces? The date is January 6, 1958. Is... is that a tape in that cuckoo's mouth? She said it to something she saw on TV. So how can you describe your journey back through time? The, um, well, the details are blurry, but it's the jump, and it sounded like it most of your call. The jump? Yes, the jump through the space between time. A sort of violet blue space dotted with bright white motes. And he weren't alone. So how can you describe your journey back through time? The, um... Well, the details are blurry, but it's... Damn it, I don't have time for this. I've got to go back.
Machines Inventor releases a new book titled The End of... Later this week, the Time Machines Inventor releases a new book titled... safe.
Yes, something big, dark, and supposed to remember I was it was supposed to be over was was that always here no it it couldn't be Soon enough, 